everybody. I just pulled into the parking lot. I am going to pick up CJ. I just, I'm sorry, I'm chewing gum, that's terrible. I just finished recording the recap from yesterday for day nine, so that will be going up later, and I'm working on another little mini sock. I haven't forgotten about these. I'm almost done, so got a couple more to go. Uh, so I'm just working on this really fast, and um, yeah the move is happening the move is happening you guys my sister is with my parents right now the movers are almost finished at the old place and they're getting ready to leave uh, to head over to the new place uh, I'm gonna try to stop by um, after CJ's swimming which I'm we're gonna pick up from school and go to now and um, yeah oh my gosh I'm gonna try to stop by I'll try to get a little footage for you over there and um, oh my gosh what a day what a day and so much to share with you, but I'll see you again in just a bit. Hello everybody and welcome to day 10 of Vlogmas. It is Monday evening. It is December 10th. I am back on track, back on schedule. Thank heaven. I was definitely getting a little confused doing the recaps the following day, but we are back on track, you guys. What a day today has been. Um, as you can see, I've, I'm all comfy now. I've got my sweats on. I've got my headband on. Um, so yeah, today was a very intense day. It was an awesome day. My parents are moved in. Um, they are spending their first night in their new home. We could not be happier for them. Um, so as you saw in the, in the video from this afternoon, I um, picked CJ up, we went to swimming, um, I had some lunch packed for him, and um, we went straight over to my parents' house, uh, or my parents' apartment, and um, the movers were in you know, full swing. Oh, it was so great. They were so excited. My dad was sort of wandering around aimlessly because there really wasn't anywhere for him to sit yet, and he's, he's very sedentary, so he's like, I don't have a chair, I don't have a chair. <laughs> If my sister were watching, she would laugh because she knows exactly what I mean. Um, and my mom was just kind of flitting about and like a little butterfly, just from thing to thing to thing to thing. Um, we kept trying to tell her mom, just, you know, hang back, let them bring everything in, and then we'll help you start moving things. And of course, you know, you tell them what room to put things in. So, um, yeah, it went very, very smoothly. They were done much earlier than I thought, so that was great. And... Oh my gosh, and I will be going back there tomorrow. Uh, I'll drop the kids off and I'll head straight over there and um, spend the morning with my mom until pick up for CJ at 11.30. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much you know full swing right now of just getting them settled and getting everything in the closets and you know fold, refolded, folded, put away. So that is the plan right now. Uh, Christmas is literally 15 days away. Um, and I'm feeling the crunch a little bit, but I, I said at the beginning of this season because we I knew they were going to be moving, so I, I already had it in my head that I was scaling back on Christmas this year, um, you know, focusing mainly on the kids. My sister and I and, you know, the husbands aren't exchanging gifts. We're really, really keeping it simple so we can give all of our attention and energy to the parents. Um, yeah, so we, we are really happy right now. We, we, I feel like we're all in transition, but it's so good. So, yes, so that went really smoothly. Um, I put in a little footage of the place there, and my dad and CJ kind of tucked away in a corner while CJ was eating lunch, and that little nook is going to be my dad's space, so I, I can't wait to see it all set up. It's, it's going to be great. Um, so that was the big thing today, and... Okay, you guys aren't gonna believe this. I, okay, so last Friday, I was minding my own business on Instagram, as we all do, and I fell down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Actually, was it on it? Was I? No, no. I take that back. I was on YouTube. I was watching some Vlogmas episodes, and, um, or did I? You know, it doesn't matter. I started to watch Tristan from Dragon Horde Yarns, and I saw her open, um, and I, again, I don't remember if it was Insta Story or YouTube, it doesn't matter, but she was opening a Harry Potter advent calendar, and I went, 
what? Why don't I have one of those? But she didn't say the, the name of it and I wasn't sure, I, I don't know, I didn't really explore it too much, but I was like, wow, that would be so great to have one of those. And um, so then now I'm on YouTube and I'm, I'm watching, I don't remember which day of Vlogmas for Molly, who's a homespun house, and she had one too. And she's like, oh, you know, it's time to open my Funko advent calendar, the Harry Potter advent calendar. And I said, okay, breaks. I have got to find one of these things. I need one of these. But I'm also thinking it's what, day six, seven into advent at this point? I mean, these are probably gonna be sold out. So I looked it up on Amazon and it came up at $80. I'm like, all right, there's gotta be, I, I love Harry Potter, but I'm really not spending $80 on an advent calendar. So I keep looking, I find that it was sold by Barnes and Noble. Friday afternoon, you guys, I must have called 10 to 15 Barnes and Nobles in the tri-state area um, within about an hour, two hour drive and I couldn't find one. Everywhere was sold out and some of the Barnes and Noble inventory, I'm sorry, there's something in my eye. Um, okay, some of the Barnes and Noble inventories um, were a little off. So when you look them up online, it said they had them in stock, but when you call the store, they were on hold for people. So it hadn't officially been taken out of their system yet. They hadn't been paid for, but they still couldn't sell them because they were on hold for people. So feeling a little disappointed, but I'm like, all right, you know what? How many advent calendars does one person need? It's not a big deal. <clears throat> you know, I'll make a note of it in my phone somewhere. <clears throat> Sorry, I need a little. <laughs> I love this stuff. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> so much better. Um, I will make a note of it somewhere in the notes on my phone or whatever, and I'll look it up for next year. So I, at pickup on Friday, I told my friend Kim about this. Maybe this happened Thursday and I told her on Friday. Anyway, I told my friend Kim and she's probably one of the biggest Harry Potter fans I've ever met. She's been to um, Harry Potter World three, four times. I don't even know how many times. Um, she actually did a Harry Potter themed birthday party for her daughter last year, if you remember that from my podcast episodes. and because I mentioned in Vlogmas that I helped her make the scarves and um, she even has a Harry Potter room in her house. Yeah, she's devoted. So um, I mentioned these ca these calendars to her and you know when you see that light go on behind somebody's eyes like, I'm gonna find one of these. <laughs> so, so she sends me a message and says, um, I have something for you. And I thought, no. It can't be that. I'm thinking this to myself. I'm like, it absolutely can't be that. So, okay, go about the weekend. Everything's fine. So this morning, she, we both pull into the parking lot at um, her son and, and CJ go to the same nursery school. So we pull in side by side and um, she hops out of the car with this box and she comes over and she hands it to me and I went, oh, oh my God, oh my God, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. And you know that denial when you know what's in the package or you know what's about to happen and you're like, no, this can't be happening. And that can be good or bad. In this case, she found one, guys. Not only did she find one, she found two at a Barnes & Noble out in Long Island near her in-laws. Now, how devoted are you to Harry Potter if you are willing to be in debt to your in-laws? <laughs> that's devotion that is devotion to Harry Potter devotion to a friend devotion to everything her she called she had her in-law she looked it up online she had her father-in-law drive to one Barnes Noble that said they had them it turns out they didn't have them then he went to another one and they said they had them but they didn't and it turns out the first one had it so he had to drive back Tom thank you so much Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kim. Thank you. Oh, I was floored. So, I mean, literally, I held the box in the car. I got out of the car. I did a happy dance. I went over and I hugged her, and then I got back in the car and I hugged the box. So, are you, are you ready? Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys, if the kids were awake, I'd be screaming or jumping up and down, but they're sleeping, so I can't make nearly as much noise as I want to. But here it is, Harry Potter 
advent calendar, you guys. It is 24 little, and it's it's done by, um, it's Funko, but it's the little pop figurines. It's They're all going to look like this. So they're not the little keychains that I have on the um, Harry Potter tree. They're just the little figurines, but of course you know me. I'm going to find some creative way to be able to hang them, so they'll be all over the tree for next year. But here it is, so let's see how you open this thing here. I think it slides out. I, I just took the plastic off, so we're opening this together. Um, and she said she obviously couldn't wait until Christmas because she wanted me to have it so I could start to open it. So let's open it. Okay, covers off. And, okay, oh my gosh, you guys. It folds down. And, okay, on the front, let's go back to the front. There is this little, I don't know if you can see it, if I can hold it up, this little tree here. So that is actually here in plastic. So I can, and here's the base, so I can set that up. Um, but here it is, you guys. Oh my gosh, and I can pop open all the little windows. Now I do know, because I watched Molly open hers, I do, or was it Tristan? I think it was Tristan. Um, I think Harry Potter is in day one, but I'm not sure, I know this is gonna sound insane, but I'm thinking about not opening it. Joanna of Stitching the High Notes um, podcast, she has a 12 day advent calendar that she started opening on December 1st and she's opening one every other day, so it takes her through December 24th. So what I'm thinking about doing is waiting until um, there's 12 days before Christmas, so what would that be? So day, two, so the 12th, on the 12th, duh. So, <laughs> so, um, on the 12th, I will start opening these, and what I'll do is open two a day. Um, so I'm going to patiently wait, I'm going to find a really good spot to set this up, and I will set up the tree, and we will open two a day starting on the 12th, and that'll take us through to Christmas Eve. Yeah, oops. <laughs> I can't wait, but look at how beautiful this is, you guys. Oh my gosh, I don't have any words. I really don't have any words for how beautiful this is. There's Hogwarts. Oh, it's amazing. It's so amazing. Thank you, Kim. I really don't have any words. I, I feel like she and I have been partners in crime in our crafting world for so long. I mean, if, if we can make it, the two of us will figure out a way to do it together. Um, and it's, it's, we can be both a little over the top at times. She can be really over the top at times. Um, but it's really fun. It's, it's all in fun. And, but her over the top is so, I can't even call it that. That's not fair. It's so creative and she always has these amazing ideas. Um, for different things. And, and then she said to me, okay, because she's, genius and she said well why don't you open them and then you could put them in the little socks that you're making because they're the perfect size they're really tiny so they'll fit right in the mini socks that I'm making but then I took it a step further all of the mini skeins that I'm opening up for yarn cafe creations and dragon house yarns I'm going to eventually make socks out of those put the figurines in those and they'll be ready for next year excited right now um, and before I even knew that she had found the second one I offered to split this one with her I said but you know we're both fans you can't like you take 12 I'll take 12 and she's like no 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 I found two so yes so here is my Harry Potter advent calendar if you guys wherever you are if you in the US um, if there's Barnes and Nobles overseas if you can find one it is by Funko right here F U N K-O, so it's www.funco.com. Um, they may have some on their website. I know you can find them on uh, Barnes & Noble, um, possibly their website. Again, we're, we're 10 days into Advent, so I don't really know how many more there are, but if you told me we would have found two, I wouldn't have believed it. So there we are. Um, I'm going to slide this back in here really quick. I cannot believe the restraint that I'm showing to not open this for two more days, but I think it's gonna be worth it. So let's put this back in. <sighs> Best gift ever! <laughs> so I'm very
very, very excited. Um, yes, so I feel so blessed with all of these gifts and presents. Um, thank you to everyone so much because I don't think people understand how much these things mean to me and the thoughtfulness that goes into this. I mean, she didn't have to go out of her way to look for this, so she could have just, you know, gotten one for herself. But, you know, I thank her family because they fully support her Harry Potterness and, um, they've why i i've known them since i've known her and they've both been her in-laws are wonderful people so to both tom and marie thank you so very much um yeah oh my gosh i'm giddy i'm so giddy between my parents moving i know there's no comparison but little things that make you happy um okay let's open some yarny goodness let's do our question because that was a big question you guys um, from day nine so I am psyched and I have day 10's question super easy that's just a fun one so I try to be fun and then a little heavy and then fun and then a little heavy so let's open our advent calendars oh and as promised I did post a picture on Instagram today of the calendar of the display here at night in the evening so you can really get to see the lights it's I've, I tried to get the picture like just right so if you have a chance go on over and take a look at that um, and I'll try to add a picture just at the end of this um, episode for you to see uh, so let's start with legacy fiber arts you guys all the goodness all the fun <laughs> Look at this one. Right, let's turn this one around a little bit. Oh my gosh. It's kind of a bluey, purpley kind of color. Oh my gosh, what would you say this color is? It's so different. Oh, I love it. Wait, I'm about to separate that. Um, wow, gorgeous. So this is going to hang, let me see if I can do it, right about Oh, oh, there, right about there, <laughs> but obviously further back. Um, so yeah, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So Legacy Fiber Arts for day 10. Thank you. Um, okay, let's do Homespun. Oh, oh, there's a goodie. I think I know what it is. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, let's get this open. The time and attention that these dyers have put into these advent calendars just blows me away. And I mean, I'm looking at one and they've sold so many of these. I can't even imagine all the time that it took to put these together. So thank you to all of the indie dyers out there. Um, not just the three that I'm opening, but to all of the indie dyers out there that did advent calendars because your work is amazing and your dedication's amazing. So thank you. Um, I got a candy cane. <laughs> These little mini candy canes are my favorite because they're so tiny and you don't really feel like you're cheating because I really am not supposed to have sugar right now, but um, yeah, or not anymore, but I feel like I'm. it's okay if I, I can make this last for about three days. I can just break it off and just have a tiny piece, so yay for that. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh wow. Ooh, almost dropped it. I got it. Oh, this is rich. Look at that. Oh, yes, and my nails are chipping. Sorry, that will be off by tomorrow. That looks horrible. Ugh. Another reason I don't polish my nails because I wash my face, wash things, and within, you know, two washings of dishes, this is why I don't want to wash dishes anymore. <laughs> okay, so anyway, back to this. Sorry. Look at that. Oh, it's so plummy and delicious and pink and perfect. Love it, love it. I love every single one of these. I really do, in case you haven't noticed. Look at that splotch of hot pink in there. Beautiful. So here we go, you guys. This is a homespun house for day 10. Love it. So let's pop that one back in. And let's do Happy Creations and Dragon Lord Yards. Oh, wait, let's get the get our list. Where's our list? Hold on, I'm digging in the bag. All right, so today is, hold on, hold on. Oh, 
Okay, let's open it before I tell you, because yesterday for day nine, I said the name before showing you the yarn. So let's show you the yarn first. At night when I open these and peek in, I really can't see what color it is, but I think... Look at this. Oh, okay. Day 10, Christmas at Hogwarts. The, this colorway is Cry of the Mandrake. How perfect is that? Perfect, perfect, perfectness. Nailed it again. Oh my goodness. Do you guys remember the Mandrakes from the movie? They look like this. This is it. This is a Mandrake in a skein of, tiny skein of yarn. Wow. Um, just beautiful. Thank you guys so much for your expert dyeing. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So, okay. Can you picture? Look at this. Look at that. Purpley perfectionness. <laughs> That's a word as of right now. I can't wait to make mini socks out of these and put all of these little figurines in the sock. I want to work on that right now. There's so many things I want to be knitting, you guys. Ugh, I'm getting a headache from all the knitting that I'm not doing. It's driving me a little bit crazy, but it just, it is what it is. It's okay. So, Cry of the Mandrake. Love it. Amazing. Let's pop that back in. Ugh. It's just the timing, as I said earlier in Vlogmas. Um, there's just too much to do during the day, and I just don't feel... There just isn't, I can't even concentrate right now on just, I, I mean, I can, of course, just sitting there and knitting, but um, I just feel like there's so much that I need to be doing. And once Christmas is over, you have that delicious week between Christmas and New Year's. The kids are playing with new toys. I've got nothing to do but sit, watch them, and knit. I can't wait for that week. Oh my gosh, can't wait. Um, so yes, that is all of our yarny goodness for today. My eye is driving me nuts. Um, so let's revisit our question. Ooh, sorry about that. Let's look at our question. So day nine's question was, would you rather give up social media or not speak for a week? I'm gonna give up social media, you guys. Um, it's kind of a no-brainer for me to give up social media. And on the rare occasion when I just turn my phone off really early or consciously decide, okay, I'm not looking at Instagram or anything, Pinterest, YouTube, I'm not looking at anything for the rest of the night. It is incredible how much I get done. It really, really is. Now that um, the latest iOS update on iPhone now has a screen time monitor, so you can check how much you spend on your screen, on your phone per day, I'm not even going to tell you what that number is for me. Um, it's it's a little staggering and I'm I don't I'm annoyed at myself for using that much time but I'm also communicating with so many people all the time and it's it's answering emails and answering messages and the Ravelry group and doing all of this stuff so uh, I don't know it's a push pull social media is always a push pull for me but um, not speaking in my world right now with two kids and, and everything else is not an option um, in a perfect world, I would give up both. I have no problem going hours and hours and hours without talking. As much as I enjoy podcasting and vlogging, I can go hours without talking. I really can, it's amazing, but yeah. So social media has to go. Um, and I think, you know, it's interesting. A lot of people we're kicking social media to the curb. You know, they need their voice. One person said, which I thought was really great, um, she would give up social media and she would keep her voice because it's hers, it's unique to her. Social media is the voices of other people, so that would be easy to get rid of. And I loved that perspective that she brought to this question. I thought that was brilliant. Um, and she's absolutely right. Th those are a lot of the what you're looking at are the voices of others so sure kick that to the curb and maintain your own voice your own self so that is day nine I enjoyed that one so day 10 super easy today um, name one place you want to visit or revisit the most 
So what place is at the top of your bucket list? Where do you really, really want to go the most? And even if you've been there and you want to go back, the one place. So we will answer this question tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think that is pretty much it. This is a bit of a longer episode. Um, I think that's it for tonight, you guys. Uh, it's probably almost 11.30 at this point. I am going to try to edit this really quickly and go to bed <laughs> because tomorrow's another full day. So I hope everyone had a wonderful day. Thank you, as always, for joining me, um, for watching, for spending some time with me, and I will see you all again tomorrow. Happy and merry, everybody. Bye.